Have you found yourself dabbling in sin that the Lord had once set you free from? That is what this week's devotion is about. And it's based on the verse in 2 Peter 2.20. And it says, When people escape from the wickedness of the world by knowing our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and then get tangled up and enslaved by sin again, they are worse off than before. In my years of struggling with uh, my weight and my body image, and it wasn't really a, a struggle with, um, you know, like obesity. I never had this huge transformation from either going from, um, you know, obese where my doctor was telling me I needed to lose weight, nor so thin from an eating disorder. It was all in my mind. It was all my relationship with my body and just thinking that I needed to lose five or 10 pounds to look better, to feel better. And my focus was constantly on that. I was a Christian. I gave my heart to the Lord at an early age, but this one area of my life I was tangled up in. And I spent nearly 40 years. I mean, it wasn't until I turned 40 that I allowed God to set me free, that I stopped wandering in the desert like the Israelites did. Um, we read about them back in Exodus and Deuteronomy. And then in Deuteronomy, the Lord told Moses, he said, you've circled this mountain long enough. Now turn north. And he spoke those same words to me, you know, at the time I was about to turn 40 to find freedom. But before that, I, I was searching for freedom. I wanted to be free from this battle. And so then I was set free. But this verse tells us, you know, don't get entangled again. And it's so easy to think that once we've been set free, we're good. You know, we're good. We're, we're out of there. You know, it, initially you have no desire to go back and you feel that peace that comes with it. You start to live more confidently and you do things that are guided by the Lord instead of guided by men or your selfish desires. But then you know, Satan knows where we're weak, where we're vulnerable. And so he's going to continue to attack this same area. And it is easy to get back to that. It is easy to start to get distracted and to get swayed back into something that we once broke free from. But this week's devotion that I wrote, I shared on my social media and I also posted on my website every Sunday is all about not going back. And the most important um, thing that you can do when God sets you free is to stay in his word, to keep your eyes on him and to pray up. Each and every day, each day I have to put on the armor of God so that I don't go back to where I was because it would be easy to get tangled up again. But like this verse says, we don't want to go back there. We would be worse off if we do go back there. So I just ask you again, have you been dabbling? Have you been finding yourself dabbling in a sin that the Lord wants set you free from? Well, he is here to set you free again. So make a renewed commitment to him to stay in that freedom, to follow him, to let him lead you. And it takes staying in his word, getting on your knees, a heart daily surrendered to him. So I hope that encourages you today. Check out the link for the full uh, devotion in the comments below and have a great week and keep walking in freedom.